technology increases, so too will expectations of what we should know to be able to function efficiently in life. Therefore, defining literacy in our changing world is not easy. Several years ago, being literate meant being able to read and write. Now, being literate means being able to read and write at a level to be successful in today's world and also be, uh, being proficient in mathematics, knowing how to use technology, knowing how to solve problems, and knowing how to make good decisions. Literacy involves more than just the ability to read, write, view, design, speak, and listen in all the ways that allows you to communicate effectively. In other words, being literate is more than just reading the word. It is about being able to read the world. The home is the first place learning begins. It is in this informal setting that children begin to develop skills which will empower them to read the world. This evening, I will share with you five easy ways to get the process started at home. These are by no means revolutionary ideas. Some of you are already doing these things, and I say, well done. The power behind all this, however, is consistency. Doing it every day and as often as you can each day. I'll begin with talking to your children. And I'm very happy this afternoon to see so many fathers out supporting their children. Because, yes. <laughs> You play a pivotal role in who our men become and who our ladies look forward to having a family with. So I'm encouraging you, continue to be the building block, the stepping stones, the go-to person in your children's life. Conversation, it's a mighty, mighty tool. It is more than just exchanging words. It calls for you to sit and understand what emotions are being expressed. Those unspoken words are also part of the whole developmental process. How we relate to our children when they say certain things to us. A mother will tell you, I know what every cry means. Mommies, true? You know when it's a cry, I'm hungry. You know when it's a cry, I am unhappy. That is, I want you to learn those cries too. Because sometimes our children say so much without speaking the words directly. They will tell you, I am unhappy. And you ask, why? I don't know. All right, hush, don't have a mind. You get by, you give a hug. Is this solving the problem? Encourage your children to talk to you. It's very, very important that they move away from the phrase, I do not know. Encourage them to find words which will express that feeling that they're having. It is important conversation is very, very important in a child's development. It helps to build your, ch your child's vocabulary. And of course, as you introduce new words, encourage your children to use these words to you as you speak. Tell the children the meaning of words that you use to them so that they too will understand and build their, their vocabulary and use these words as they go along each day. When you are having conversation, you are to listen and you are to respond thoughtfully. Children like to ask why. You get that a lot at home? 
And every time you explain why, you get another? Yes. They're learning. I know after about the third or fourth one, you might say, Pit go sit down. But the child needs to understand the whole process. What they're trying to do is to get a full understanding of the situation. They want to know. And pushing them aside will not help them to know. Or worse, they might speak with someone their own age group whose experiences might be a little bit different or a lot different from what you truly want them to know. So spend the time to talk with them and develop their vocabulary, develop their understanding of what is happening as they go through. The second point, you are going to read to and with your child. I know parents will tell me, oh, I read to the child every night. You know what makes reading fun? When you have the repetitive stories and the children read with you. As they learn these different words, trying to pronounce these words as they go along, it is fun. Experience listening to, to and understanding stories will eventually make it easier for the child to read and write stories of their own. Because they get the idea of what a plot is, who characters are, what the setting should be like. So you are developing readers and writers in the process. So it's more than you just sitting and reading the book and say, okay, good night, say your prayers. Okay, tuck all in and go off now. No. Have your child respond to the story. What this does is help to build the child's print knowledge by reading the, the street signs as well. You're driving along to work or you're walking along to work, read the signs. Talk about what you see on the billboards. All this print knowledge is important in developing your child's reading ability. Thank you.